Dawat. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. Welcome to St. Anthony's Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends, as we are coming up for the Holy Mass, let us acknowledge God's mercy and admit all our failures and surrender them into the hands of the Lord for His pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, in my, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary over to all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who gave St. Anthony a Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in the knee, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, may we know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. For first reading, Please turn the page number 139. Page number 139. First reading, reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 21, verses 4 to 9. Chapter 21, verses 4 to 9. From Mount Hor, they set out by the way to the Red Sea, to go around the land of Edom. But the people became impatient on the way. The people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water. And we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent poisonous serpents among the people, and they bit the people so that many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord to take away the serpents from us, so Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a poisonous serpent, and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten shall look at it and live. So Moses made a serpent of bronze, and put it upon a pole, and whenever a serpent bit someone, that person would look at the serpent of bronze and live. The word of the Lord. For response psalm, please turn the page number 638. Page number 638. 
Psalm 102, verses 1 to 2 and 15 to 20. Psalm 102, verses 1 to 2. Let us all read together. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me. In the day of my distress, incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. Verses 15 to 20. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion. He will appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and will not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for your generations to come, so that your people yet unborn may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height, from heavens the Lord looked at the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die. Please stand for the gospel acclamations. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into thy. Praise to you, O Christ. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. King of eternal glory, King of eternal glory, I am the light of the world. I am, I am the, the light, light of, of the world. world. Says the Lord. Says the Lord. Anyone who follows me, anyone who follows me, will have the light of life. Will have the light of life. Praise to you, O Christ. Praise to you, O Christ. King of eternal glory. King of eternal glory. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into thine. Let's take page number 101, Gospel according to St. John, chapter 8, verses 21 to 30. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Again he said to them, I am going away and you will search for me. But you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, is he going to kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. They said to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn. But the one who sent me is true. And I declare to the world that what I have heard from him. They did not understand what he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am he. And that I do nothing on my own. But I speak these things as the Father instructed me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, how nice that you have all come for the Holy Mass in honor to St. Anthony. And we all have come here with a different intentions, with a different petitions, because we know that St. Anthony is a very powerful 
miracle worker, a powerful intercessor. We all have come here with different anxieties, worries, tensions and uh, petitions. But overall, the most essential and most important petition would be is to ask God to give us the blessings to strive always first for the kingdom of heaven. That is why Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and everything will be added unto you. And when we are in search or striving for the kingdom of heaven, our system of lifestyle itself changes. Because the Lord uses the language of spirit, not the language of this world. World does not merely mean the sky, the heaven, the earth, the plants, the men, which are basically good, which are being created by God himself. We have nothing to say. St. John, whenever he uses this term world, he meant the worldly nature of lifestyle. He always used to say, he always used to term this world as sin. Therefore, dear friends, as Jesus was speaking today to his own people, the people could not, the Pharisees, the scribes, the Jews could not understand his language. He started saying that you people are of this world, I am not of this world. You people are from this world, where am I? I have come from above. So he was speaking literally what he is, what he is, from where he had come from, his origin and so on. And these people could not understand his language. And once again, after listening to his preachings, watching and witnessing his miracles, and yet they say, who are you? Who you are? We, are, could not, we, can't, we cannot understand who you are. He had to condemn them. My dear brothers and sisters, if you and me would like to follow Jesus, we too will be following the same sort of language. Because a Christian will live by the spirit of Jesus. Whereas the worldly man, whoever belongs to this world, will always talk in a business way. He will always be selfish in his motives. For example, we have a beautiful parable of a story, a parable of a, a sannyasi and a traveler. A sannyasi wanted to see God, wanted to experience the presence of God. He went to the forest. And he traveled in the forest. He walked into the forest, into th the thick wood. He happened to be in the mid of the forest and started meditating. It so happened a traveler passed by the roadside and he happened to see this sannyasi. And this traveler said, Sannyasi, you are in the, mid of, mid, in the middle of the forest. You have come to a very dangerous place. Why did you come here? The sannyasi says, I have come here to see God. Are, to see God, you have, you have to come here. Then what is, what is it? What do you want to say? My, my dear sannyasi, there are many dangerous animals here. Please go back to the city. Go back to your home. Don't stay. I know because I had been traveling here day and night. I know the present situation and the, this present place. So go back. The sannyasi says, no, unless and until I see God, I will not go back. Then the, sannyasi, then the traveler said, okay, you have come here to see God. I will go and call God. Will you go back? Then the sannyasi says, yes. Then he thought to himself, sannyasi thought to himself, Are, this fool is only a traveler and I am 75 years old. I have been practicing yoga. I have been going to churches and temples. I have been praying for years and years. I know the word of God. And I have been fasting for years. And this fool traveler, he said that he would bring God. So he was ridiculing within himself about this, fool, about this traveler. And sarcastically the sannyasi said, Okay, okay, go and call God. And this traveler went to some place. He spoke to God. God. I, am, I have a request. And God says, what is it? Uh, you know, there is a sannyasi in the middle of the forest. Please come. Don't come for me. Please come at least for him so that he may save his life. He may save his life. There is, there is, uh, there is a, that's a dangerous place. Then God says, okay, because you say for this purpose, I will come along with you. And the next moment, the God comes in front of the sannyasi. 
appears in front of sanyasi along with this traveler and then god spoke to sanyasi you man you wanted to see me but i will never appear to you why the sanyasi inquired you person you are a sanyasi but unfortunately you pray for your own self you pray for your own self and i've come here not because that you wanted to see me but because of this ordinary humble traveler he wanted me to come for you he wanted me to come to save you he wanted to protect you and for this i have come i will appear for to those people who pray for others i will appear to those people who do or render the services for others and the sanyasi was ashamed then he realized yes a man of god a man who would like to see god basically should be a man for others that is what we have heard in today's gospel reading and even in the first reading jesus if at all if any hindu or muslim the moment they come into the church and look at the cross the first point they will realize is who is this man who is this fool who had died for others look at it which man who who can die like this such a having experience experiencing such a miserable death basically the first thought that comes to their mind this man is for others he died for others therefore he should be a god this is the first point that will strike any lay person's mind today jesus is asking the same thing how many of you all are ready and we have already entered into the fifth week of the lenten season are we all still living the same old way of life or have you changed to be the man for others if you still live for your own self god will never appear god will never touch you and you will live for years without having the experience of god and today we all have come here to st anthony look at st anthony thousands of people come today for what for different blessings for different petitions with worries tension anxieties and he's always praying for every one of you he is a man for others that is why he has become so famous and if you and me would like to become so popular in our life we have to be for others jesus came for others lived for others suffered for others died for others and he rose for others he still exists for others still exists for others so let's pray to saint anthony to pray for us for a generous heart to live for god and for others take my life and let it be consecrated lord to thee take my moments and my days let them flow in ceaseless praise take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee take my voice and let me sing always only for my king take my lips and let them be fill with messages from thee receive a lord we pray the offerings placed on the altar the bread and wine in commemoration of saint anthony so that as you brought him glory you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is to be right and just a duty and a salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come. Until you come in glory. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with pope francis to mabala archbishop and all the clergy Lord God, we ask you to bless each one of us gathered here for this holy mass in honor to St. Anthony. May you bless each one of us with the power and courage 
to give up selfish thinking, selfish lifestyle, and to be a person for others. Help us to sacrifice our ego. Help us to be like Saint Anthony. Always to strive for the kingdom of heaven. To be like you. To die to our own self. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Who have known all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, Saint Anthony, Saint Jude, Saint Sebastian, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Don Bosco, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you through all the ages, we may merit to be cohorts to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us pray with confidence to our Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, our Father what, what in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is heaven. in heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread. bread. Forgive, Forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, especially from selfishness and from every evil desires. But by the help of your mercy, we may experience peace, healing, deliverance, and be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory, and the glory are, are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's help each other. The sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you all. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. He rests within my heart for my God loves me. My God loves me. His love will never end. He rests within my heart for my God loves me. His gentle hands He stretches over me Those strong clouds Threaten the day He will set me free My God loves me His love will never end. He rests within my heart, for my God loves me. He comes to me in sharing bread and wine. 
He brings me life that will reach past the end of life. My God loves me. His love will never end. He rests within my heart for my God loves the joys of love as offerings now we bring the pains of love will be lost in the praise we sing my God loves me his love will Number 420, 420. The Savior is waiting to enter your heart. Why don't you let him come in? There's nothing in this world to keep you apart. What is your answer to him? Time after time, he is waited before, and now he is waiting again to see if you're willing to open the door. Oh, how he wants to come in. If you'll take one step towards the Savior, my friend, you'll find his arms open wide. Receive him and all of your darkness will end. Within your heart seal abide. Time after time. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your own hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from you. From the malignant enemy, defend me at the hour of my death. Call me and bid me come to you, that with your sayings I may praise you for all eternity. Amen. Please turn to page number 340 in the hymn book. In the hymn book, please turn to page number 340. Most efficacious prayer to St. Anthony. Let us recite all together. O Holy St. Anthony. The gentleness and kindness of saints, your burning love of God, your exalted virtue, and your great charity towards your fellow creatures, may you be worthy when honored to possess miraculous powers such as were given to the other saints, miracle waited on your word, and that word you were ever ready to speak at the request of those in trouble, the anxious prayer of bitter trial was never addressed to you in vain. To the sick, you gave back health. You restored what was lost. The sorrow stricken were the objects of your tender compassion. Even the dead you raised to life when the wounded heart cried out to you from the depths of a bitter anguish. When on earth, nothing was impossible with you except out of compassion on those in distress and sorrow. Encouraged by this thought, and convinced of the efficacy of holy intercession, we kneel before your holy image, and full of confidence, we implore you to obtain for us here mention your request.
the answer to this our prayer may require a miracle even though are you not the saint of miracles who went on earth had but to speak the mightiest wonders were wrought O oh, gentle and loving Saint Anthony, <coughs> you whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, whisper our prayer to the ears of infant Jesus, who loved to linger in your arms, one word from you, and your prayer will be granted. O oh, speak for that word, and the gratitude heart will ever be yours. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed us with thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without it. Amen. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Saint Anthony, miracle worker, pray for us. Dear friends, we thank WWW Catholic Hub for videographing this Holy Mass and the people of that particular organization request, request each one of us that if at all, if you would like to sponsor for every uh, program they would like to videograph you are welcome to do that they say that through your sponsorship they can evangelize the word of God or even the holy mass which can be telecast all over the world so you are welcome to do that if not at least you can pray for their intention let us pray may partaking at the heavenly table almighty God confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate this day dedicated to Saint Anthony, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks. I wish you all a happy day. Thank you, Father. Hymn number 603, 603. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me, Father.